Hello everyone, cheers. Welcome to my home again. Tonight I'm enjoying some Pinot from Sprouts. It is organic. It doesn't make us sick, so we enjoy it. Anyway, yep, back into my home and my kitchen. And tonight we're having beef tasting again. I was gonna say Wagyu, but one of them is Wagyu, one of them is not. This one is Stone Axe Wagyu. Let me bring that to the camera. Thank you very much. Stone Axe Full Blood Australian Wagyu. Yep, go ahead and, yep, 16 ounce. So 16 ounces is a full pound. Pretty awesome, looking good. We're gonna do a whole unpackaging and uh, slice and taste. The good thing about uh, ribeye is that it has two parts, the fat cap and the center, center cut. So we get to taste two pieces there. And then we also have the USDA Prime from Wild Fork. I was gonna say wild pork, but it's not pork. Wild fork, and um, it's a, they call it a short plate. So I believe it is the, the, the meat on the outside of the beef bone. All right, so cool. You know what? We'll just start with the wild fork to start with. And again, this is all gonna be uncut video. And so, so that you will not miss a thing. This is my style now. And as always, I'll use a glove. So camera woman, how are we doing with, uh, we have special guest Din again. <laughs> how are we doing with the picture over there? It looks good. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. good. Yeah, do I look fat or anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should get on a carnivore diet, <laughs> hence uh, what we got here. So, okay. So beef thin short ribs. All right, so vacuum sealed, very nice. Again, this is USDA Prime, okay? Wow, it's looking good. And so I was wondering if this was gonna be chewy or not. I was gonna buy two packages, but I just stuck with one. And I can tell already, it smells very fresh. It doesn't have the aged, or any funkiness smell. Yes, smells very fresh. All right, smell test for Den. Smells mm. pretty fresh, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so it doesn't have that, uh, any kind of age funkiness going on. So we'll trim off a little bit of the silver skin that was left on there. Really good marbling. So while fork has these different labels and the silver one, and when you see the silver ones here, um, it says, uh, was it a superior? Super, superior marbling. And I can tell it's already superior marbling. We're gonna go right into it. Center cut, as always. Get that in there. Hot plate. Sizzle. Oh yeah. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do two more right off the bat because I feel like I'm gonna like it. I smell it, it smells nice. So, if you guys ever shop at Wild Fork, now you know what to expect if you get the short ribs. Oh man, it's smelling good. Good sizzle going on. I'm gonna flip this. Then likes hers a little bit more cooked. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit chewy, right? Mm. Just a little bit, cause I, I can feel it on the chopstick already, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing this bad boy here. Just kind of start the unpackaging and smell test. Once we have have it out of the package. Oh, it smells fresh. Very nice. Very good. I like to do the, the test. And this is the reason why I have paper towel. All right. I'm trying to hurry because I know these pieces are pretty much ready. It's already starting to sweat on top. I'm going to start taking it out because it is already medium. Let that rest there. 
for me, let Ben's piece cook a little bit more. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty good. I have a feeling that you're gonna like this, Din. It should be beefy, has a little bit bite chew to it. Mm, it smells good. Yes, it does. All right. Okay, take Din's out. It's a little bit more cooked. Let that rest and clean the excess beef fat in there. All right. So, okay. I'll continue with the uh, introduction. My name is Kwa. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much. Welcome to my home. Behind the camera is the camera woman, Din. <laughs> and she loves doing this because you know why? She gets to eat. <laughs> so check it out. Ooh, smells so smells fresh. Good. Like, like al almost no odor. Mm, there is no odor. No odor, so fresh. Yes, we love it. All right, so that's the Australian. Oh, show, show the camera oh. what it looks like out, out of the package, right? I'm a, Ooh, looks yeah, good. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> All right, so with that, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on mine, and then on Din, just barely anything, right? <laughs> okay. I am going to put this on Din's plate, and then she's going to show you what it looks like up close. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that look? I'm, I'll get out of the picture yeah, so it'll focus see. onto the steak. Looks good. Yes. All right. I'm going to pick up mine, and cheers, everybody. Mm. It's chewy but buttery. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's not like too chewy. It's not too chewy. Mm-hmm. It's it's a nice bite. Mm-hmm. It is. It's mm -hmm. really good. I like that. This beefy flavor. Mm -hmm. Definitely beefy flavor. Mmm. I'm glad I do the second piece. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers everyone. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mm. How much was it per pound again? Fifteen ninety eight. Fifteen ninety eight per pound. For fifteen ninety eight per pound. Short rib meat. Mm -hmm. Superior marbling. I'd I'd go for this any day. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really good. That's really really good. I'm impressed. I like that. But we start from the bottom up. Oh, let's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. That was pretty good. Yes. Wild yes. fork. Wild fork. All right. So, again, this one has a fat cap in the center. So I'm going to cut it right in the center. And then we have two different parts of this steak we can try. Right? So what I'm going to do is get this into the pan. And then once, once I get it out, let it rest. I'll cut it. I'll cut it where I'll separate the fat cap. Mm -hmm. And then we'll try the center piece first because it's more lean than the fat cap. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why it's called the fat cap because it literally has more fat. But this is like Wagyu. And didn't you say that uh, from the last time we looked on uh, online research, this was also from the Margaret River Ranch or Farm? Is, is that correct? Is we it? we it, might have to double back. It doesn't say on the packaging? I thought it said it. I thought you saw it on the internet somewhere. What is it called? Oh, yeah, the Stone Axe. Stone yes, Axe. it is part of the Margaret. Margaret River Farm. It's one of Margaret their Margaret River Farms. There it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I enjoy it. We enjoy it. <laughs> and then you get to watch us enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of good uh, Wagyu fat. They also call it tallow. And there, again, there's a thinner piece and then a thicker piece. Oh, look, it's already falling apart. I don't even have to separate. Oh, I don't wow. have to separate the, uh, the oh, fat yeah. cat cap and the center. Look at that. Perfect. Now we got tasting for the center. Fat cap already separated. Very nice. 
Ooh, it's so tender. I can feel it from the chopstick already. I think we're gonna like this a lot more. But from the pricing, price point, in a steakhouse, remember we went to, what was it called? Prime Steak, Pacific. Pacific Standard Prime. Standard Prime Steakhouse. Something like this, probably not even a pound. This is 16 ounces. I think at Prime Steak maybe it's 12 or 14 ounces. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking down on them or anything, but I just want to let you know they would probably charge about $150 mm -hmm. for this steak. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you probably get some kind of sides or whatnot. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. I'm going to get that. Cook yours just a little bit more, Dim. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this fat cat is pretty much almost done. Yep. And take that out to rest. Oh, I'm not gonna mix the. Uh, I'm not gonna mix the fat there. All right. Very nice. Stone axe, full Australian blood stone axe. Let that rest there. This one's a little thicker. All right. Center and fat cat. Mm. Now. I am going to clean this up and then we'll get to the tasting. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Just a little pinch of salt. Barely anything. It just kind of brings out the beefiness. Okay. We'll start off with the, uh, I don't know if we let it rest enough, but <laughs> you know what? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> While we let it rest, right? We have to let it rest at least yeah. a couple minutes. Cheers. Bum. I like this one. I do. Pinot Noir, I do too. Cool. It's Bonterra. Yeah. Bonterra Organic. Organic grapes. From Sprouts. <laughs> and here's the centerpiece for you. And then you can sh show the audience there what we're working with. And this, do you want me to cut that in half? No. Go ahead and show the audience first. Oh, it's a little too Ooh. close. Maybe too close. I'll get out the like picture. This. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks Yummy. good. Yeah. All right, everybody. Give this a try. Centerpiece. Stone Axe Wagyu. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Melt. <laughs> this one's... A bit more tender. Mm. A lot more tender. Mm -hmm. The flavor is, it's a beefy flavor, but different mm. from the last one. Yeah, but, I feel like the beefy flavor is a little bit more mellow. Mm -hmm. I, there's a reason why this is so expensive. Mm. It is delicious. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Every bite just mm -hmm. gushes out more Wagyu flavor. That's what she said. <laughs> fat cat. Now you can show the audience what the fat cat looks like. Now get out the picture. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Wow. I'm really enjoying this. All right. Cheers, everybody. Here's the fat cat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wagyu party all up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cheers. Good. Yes. Cheers. Yes. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. The Wild Fork. Yes. Good beefy flavor. Mm -hmm. I, I'd go for a wild pork like every weekend. Mm -hmm. If if I were cooking at home with some beef, I would go for that short rib. What's the price on the other one? On the so the steakhouse would be anywhere like 120 to 160 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. For a pound, a whole pound. But in the steakhouse, they give you like 12, 14 ounces, you know. But there you have it delicious you've got to try it wagyu oh so wagyu means japanese beef in japanese 
uh, you've got to try it. USDA uh, Prime, still excellent. All right. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I love you. God bless. Good night. Good morning, wherever you are. I'll see you.